Well, as you can see from the frozen lake behind me, my frosted rods here, it was literally freezing last night. There's a bit of ice I fetched in from the margins. But it took me quite a surprise because I wasn't cold at all in the bivy. But that's because I've got a proper setup, but I'll show you that in a minute. What I want to talk to you about now is thermal clothing, how important it is to keep warm on the bank. If you're going to come out in conditions like this, then you've, you've got to keep warm. It's, it's imperative, otherwise you're just going to get bored and lose interest in your fishing. So, this is my thermal suit that I use. It's a Chubb Vantage one. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a warm jacket with a fleece lining as well, and the fleece is actually detachable. Uh, but it's also important to layer up, not, not just to wear your thermal outer gear, you've got to properly layer up. This is a soft shell, soft shell jacket. I've also got a hoodie on. There's a base layer on there as well. And I've also got a t-shirt, same with my legs as well. I've got the thermal trousers that comes part of the thermal suit. I've got my combats on, and then underneath that I've got a base layer. So there's no way I'm going to get cold, and that's really, really important if you're going to come and fish in cold conditions like this. So layer up, get yourself some good thermals, and you'll keep warm in the coldest conditions. This is my frosty bivy. Um, and as you can see, I, I always fish with the doors open whenever I can get away with it, even in sub-zero conditions like this. It's simply because, so when I'm sitting on bed here, whether I'm making a cup of tea, tying a rig, whatever I'm doing, I can look out and look at the lake. And if I see a fish crash away from where I'm fishing, I can just put a rod to it and uh, hopefully catch a bonus fish. Um, yeah, it does make it a little bit colder, but when you've got a proper thermal clothing on, it doesn't tend to make a lot of difference. And there was no wind last night, so it, it you know, there's no breeze pushing in or anything like that, so it, it, it was, it, I was fine fishing it with an open front. Um, as you can see, it's a dual skin. Now that isn't quite important. Um, for one, it gives you a bit of extra protection down the sides, so if the wind does push in this way, it, it, it does protect it a bit more. And also, because the dual skin stops the condensation, so in the night when the condensation builds up in the bivy, it starts dripping down onto your bag, that, that's going to make things very uncomfortable, so it, it stops that. And if you do want to zip up, it does make it a lot warmer in there than two skins, it's like uh, double glazing. Um, other tips are get a good sleeping bag. I've got a, a very good five season sleeping bag. And combine that with a, um, a thermal wrap as well. I've been out in minus six in that and not been cold. And I think I've woke up to a lake absolutely solid with ice and uh, I, I've been nice and warm in my bag. So that's, that's very, very important. Get yourself a good bag. Um, also, have some good um, tea and coffee making stuff next to if you wake up in the in the morning, fancy a cup of tea straight away, just one hand out the bag, light the kettle and you're awake. But be very careful about um, the health and safety side of that, you know, you don't want to turn, turn the burner on full blast and uh, take your bivy up with you, but you'll know what your burner's like, and some people have got old temperamental things that, that come out in great fireballs, don't put one of them anywhere near a bivy, but mine's not too bad, it's a pretty good bit of kit, so as long as you uh, keep nice and warm, there's no reason why you can't fish through the coldest conditions in winter.